Hey guys, I'm doing the All My Pets video, finally. Um, so we're gonna start off this video by letting chickens out. Well, chicken, because it turns out two were roosters. So we got rid of those two. Oh, and it, uh, it is drizzling outside. So we just unplugged her heat lamp. And she's kind of mad that she's locked in right now. And we're getting two more chickens very soon. We did used to have those chickens that we're getting, um, but we had to send, we had, um, seriously? We had a family take care of them for a while while we were getting this little coop fixed up, but it needs cleaned. So yeah, there's shade. There's my horse, Jack. So because I'm not at my nearest farm right now, can't actually show you him. But anyways, here's two pictures. Jack is a Appaloosa. Um, I don't know how old he is. So now I'm going to move on to the dog. This is Ike. He's our German Shepherd. He turned three, I think, on December 1st. Good boy. Um. He is such a good boy. Um, his food though is just two scoops of the food twice to three times a day. If we do three, it's just one for lunch. Good boy. Good boy. He is such a sweetheart. I just filled up his water, that's why I kind of came off for a few minutes. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Down. Oh, good boy. So yeah, that's like our about three-year-old German Shepherd. He's big for a German Shepherd. This is Tug, a Scottish Terrier. I just did a voiceover for him because my brother had a movie playing. So, yeah. We've had him since I wasn't even a year old, so he's 12. This is Scout. What happened with Dusty, though, because if you have seen some videos, you know that I had a cat that looked kind of like this, but I didn't really show him much. Um, his name was Dusty. He did get hit by a car over Thanksgiving on the 25th, November 25th. And so I got this little guy. He's kind of crazy. And he is a tabby. He has calico and a ton of other breeds in him. And then I also have a Maine Coon short hair, which I don't know where she is, but I'll find her. So yeah, you scout. He's kind of playful right now though, but if he chills out, I'll show him again. Come on. Scout. So yeah, and then right after the other cat, I'll show turtles. <laughs> so this is Georgia, our Maine Coon short hair. Couldn't find her, so I just have two pictures. Anyways, yeah, we've had her for a very long time now. She's the cat we've had for the longest. He's still crazy, but he's a little bit more chill. And you can actually hear his purr now. He sees himself. <laughs> Ooh, let me go. Here's Kubo. One of my Peninsula Cooter Turtles. Got them when they were this big. Now they're that big. There's Lily. And then I also have a crab. It's a fiddler crab. I just got him. Didn't put a video on him. I don't know why. Um, 
but if you can get this video to 10 likes, then I will get another, or another two. Um, there's an albino cord catfish. Don't worry, the, don't know where the two babies are right now, but I sent them earlier today. Well, three or two. Um, he's being an attention hog. Okay, so I turned the filter off so that you can see and eat. And so that you can actually hear me. Also, I wouldn't recommend getting a turtle unless you're willing to spend a good amount of money and a lot of time. Because turtles require a lot. In fact, I need a filter tank again. And, um, also this filter crab. $3 at Petco. It's really fun. He eats this he seems to really like it too and every now and then i'll give him a fish to eat like a rosy red minnow um this does say it's for crabs too though so it's safe for him he just loves it so much in fact he does eat every other day though so he probably won't have any of the food um yesterday when i fed him I just dropped one of those sticks down right here. He came out that hole, grabbed it, and dragged it back down. Okay, so I guess we will see if he'll have one. Yeah, I don't think he's hungry. Because I've been talking, this whole thing has been getting me. Sorry, he'll be shown a lot now. I never really want to show Dusty. Um... Just because he, I just didn't want him. But now he definitely will, will be showing a lot more. Such a great personality. <laughs> Here is Sunshine, the fox turtle. Um, getting to think she's not Eastern. Uh, she is just in the cement tub for the winter. Because in the spring, we're building a turtle pond, and she'll be um, by the turtle pond with those guys. So there'll be a lot of land over there. This mister's trying to get to there. I just um, changed the water out and gave her some food earlier this morning. Try and give her quite the variety. So this is just celery and the kitty's trying to come in. Um, so celery, grapes. These box, this box turtle food. What are you doing? Um, apples, lettuce. Um, I think that that's pretty much it. And I just soaked some of it, added these in afterwards. And on other days, I'll put calcium in there. I feed her every other day just so that she can finish everything. And um, I give her worms a lot too, just earthworms and um, mealworms. Have gotten wax worms once, she didn't really like those. Okay, <laughs> what I'm dealing with. I let go and he tries going in. So anyways, if I can get a hold of her without anything else coming. This is Sunshine. Beautiful, beautiful turtle. If you know what kind of box turtle she is, please let me know. I've been trying to find out for a very long time. I got her when I was in the second grade, so I never really did know her real breed. I just know she's a box turtle. So yeah, here's Sunshine. The camera's focusing on the cat. Oh no. So yeah. Okay, one second. So here's um, this is my pastel ball python. The water did get changed today. Her cage gets cleaned every other day, just like sunshine's. And she gets fed one smaller medium rat every Thursday. Sorry, the glass is foggy. Well, not foggy, but there's water stains on it. 
from when I sprayed it this morning and yesterday. She does get a mist down every single day, sometimes even twice a day. And I do enjoy this mister a lot more than a spray bottle, because I just have to pump this, then watch out, Scout. Spray. It's really nice. Oh, good. It didn't hit you. Um, so yeah, I do need to clean some stuff up, like move the plant. I do use artificial plants, and she is over three feet long now. She'll get up to four to five feet, five at the big. Um, yeah, she is a really sweet snake. I'm just not going to take her out right now because she's just happy in there. I don't want to stress her out much. So yeah, and she is, her tank is going to upgrade. She's out now. Get it. Come on, almost there. Yeah, get it. Get it. Do you get some? Come on, just grab the whole thing. So close. Don't be scraping out and off the glass. Oh, so close, so close, so close. You got it. Yes. See, he just completely grabs the stick. Yeah, there's not any more up there. And then sometimes he'll go completely back into his hole. Other times he just stays right there. I don't know if it's a he, I just call him he because his name is now Krusty. Krusty the Crab. So yeah. And he is tugging on my pants. That's nice. Oh, there we go. So here's one of the fish tanks. As you can see, there's bass and some zebra tetras. There's a bait in there too. I just didn't show her much. This is a voiceover because my brother's watching a movie. Um, there's a bait in the corner, and then I also have a Asian dwarf frog, and there's my eel catfish, Rosie. She hid <laughs> and couldn't find some of the fish, but they're all in there. Um, you will also see the um. Placo, and up in that, by, like, by the water heater, there's the frog. I don't know why he began to eat like that, but he is. So anyways, yeah, and there's my 10-gallon fish tank. I try not to overcrowd it. I was trying to zoom in on some fish there. another beta that one is um marty and it's just at the bottom of his tank right now and again <laughs> finished his wet pest stick already Thank you so much for watching um like i said earlier get this video to more than 10 likes um we'll get more crabs Maybe even hermit crabs. And red claw crabs, definitely. No, I just said fiddlers earlier, but now I'm thinking more. Um, in the spring, though, I do have plans to turn that tank into a crab tank with red claws, fiddlers, and hermit crabs. So I'll just put a divider in it and make it half land, half water. So, yeah. Sorry, he's being crazy, and I'm just watching him. Thank you so much for watching. Um... Please like the video, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, and see you in the next video.